Hello, sixth grade. This is video number three of creating your superhero. In this video, we're going to be talking about hero information. So if we click on three hero information and the bookmark, it will take you down to the green boxes to fill in hero information. Now, again, I have four different questions that I'm going to ask you. So if you remember back to an origin uh, story or what is a superhero, there's two parts to every hero. You have the super part and you have the hero part. So what gave them their powers to make them super? And then what did they do to actually become a hero or how did they show that they're a hero? So we have four questions. The first one is, what do you want your hero to use their powers to fight against? So I think that's self-explanatory. Why is that something uh, you want your hero to fight against? So the big why. Who might be your hero's allies? What events might they get involved in to pursue their cause? And then what villain, criminal type, or organization might your hero oppose or go against? Who might seek uh, to challenge your hero? So what type of people will go up against your hero for what they believe in? So with my character of Ioleta from the previous two videos, uh, here's what I put down as examples for you to see how to fill in these, these boxes. The first one is, what do you want your hero to use their powers to fight against? Well, I want uh, Io to fight against people who are using science to abuse others and those who seek to hurt the weak and innocent. Because for her, she was a science experiment. She was experimented on. Um, so why is that something that I would want her to fight against? Because as part of her story, she was abused and then she was used by her father, Dr. Ganti, as a weapon and he experimented on her as a weapon. And then she fled the planet and now that she's on earth, uh, she realizes that people are still doing these kinds of things even on this planet and she wants to make it stop and she especially wants to fight back for those people who can't. So she wants to stand up um, and help them. Then who might be her hero, uh, her allies? What events might they get involved in to pursue the cause? As I mentioned in a previous video, the X-Men are someone that she fell in with during my uh, role-playing game uh, campaigns. So I, Io has become close with the X-Men as they battle an anti-mutant terrorist organization known as the Old Guard. And the old guard actually does a lot of experimentation. They're trying to manipulate the mutant genes. And because my character is an alien and a mutant, uh, she's somebody who's targeted. But my character is also against the people uh, who are taking mutants and experimenting on them and trying to do all these bad things. Uh, the other thing is S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, had taken an interest in my character because of her high threat level. Like I said, she has more than just two powers, but she is actually very powerful. Um, but my character has high morals. She just wants to help the world around us. And so because of this, she has been looked on them in a much more positive view because she's not going into the city and causing a lot of problems. She's there to help and she doesn't have like a power trip. The last category is what villain, criminal type or organization might your hero oppose? What might seek to challenge or who might seek to challenge your hero? So for Io, seeing anyone uh, being hurt or abused by others or seeing events on the news that indicate people are being tested on or abused, these would be things that that might kind of cause her to want to jump into action. Scientists are a huge red flag um, for my character. Uh, she becomes very standoffish, even if they're people who are nice to her. And this is because of her background um, being experimented on. And then also as an otherworlder, an alien, having that mutant DNA, certain powerful organizations like the Hellfire Club, and the Genosian Old Guard, they want to capture her for experimentation and, you know, to maybe turn her to their side. Uh, if any of the things I've mentioned here uh, interest you, like what is the Old Guard? Who are the X-Men? What is S.H.I.E.L.D.? What is the Hellfire Club? These things are all uh, part of the Marvel Universe and you are able to look them up. 
And that's the end of the worksheets. And if you have questions, please let me know. And I can't wait to read all about your superheroes.